Welcome to a very important series on proving trigonometric identities. We'll use this strategy to rationalize the denominator to prove all these identities, six of them. I hope you will understand when to apply this strategy effectively. You can always join my classes by sending an email on the address given. Enjoy the journey of success. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we'll consider six examples where we are going to prove trigonometric identities. Strategy followed will be to rationalize denominators. You'll get a clear idea of what kind of identities should be solved using this technique of rationalization. In case you want to learn from me, you can always send an email on the address given here. The questions are, question number one, sin x over 1 minus cos x equals to cot x plus cosecant x. Question two, sin x over 1 minus cos x equals to 1 plus cos x over sin x. Sin x over 1 plus sin x is tan x secant x minus tan square x. Tan x over 1 plus secant x equals to minus cotangent x plus cosecant x. Square root of 1 minus sin x over 1 plus cos x is secant x minus tangent x. Square root of 1 plus cos x over 1 minus cos x is cot x minus cosecant x. Now, it's very interesting to know that some results are very similar. Do you see these results? So, we could also give you an identity where you have to prove sin x over 1 minus cos x is indeed equal to negative of tan x over 1 plus secant x or square root of 1 plus cos x over 1 minus cos x. So, the combination of these types could also be provided. So, I hope you are getting a gist of it, right? Now, here you see sin x over 1 minus cos x has been written in two different ways. So, you could also combine this with these identities. So, there are four identities which are very, very similar. Perfect. Let us now see how do we solve these or how do we prove these identities? You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So, let us begin with the very first one, which is sin x over 1 minus cos x. Now, I like to begin from the left hand side. And we'll show this to be equal to the right hand side. So the first step which I'm going to do is rationalization. It really means you multiply and divide by the conjugate. So conjugate of denominator is 1 minus cos x conjugate is 1 plus cos x. So, you multiply and divide by 1 plus cos x, correct? In doing so, you are actually multiplying by 1. You are not changing the statement. However, this helps you to simplify. How does that help? Well, you know, what is a square? What is a plus b times a minus b equals to? So, rationalization means you are now multiplying a plus b with a minus b and this is equal to what? This is difference of squares, a square minus b square. So, we will take advantage of that. So, we could write this as the denominator being 1 minus cos x times 1 plus cos x, correct? Right? 
as the numerator is concerned, it is sin x times 1 plus cos x. And now, we can further simplify. The denominator can now be written as 1 minus cos square x. In the numerator, we have two terms. One is sin x. The other one is sin x cos x. As you can see, the right hand side is sum of two terms. So, we are getting the numerator as sum of two terms. Makes sense, right? What is 1 minus cos square x? 1 minus cos square x is sin square x, right? So, we can take it to the left hand side and rewrite this as sin x plus sin x cos x over sin square x. Correct? So, now you can split them up and write this as sin x over sin square x plus sin x cos x over sin square x. Cancelling one of the sin x, we can simplify this and write this as equal to 1 over sin x plus cos x over sin x. As you know, 1 over sin x is cosecant x and cos x over sin x is cotangent x. And that gives you the right hand side. Clear? You could flip it and write. You get the idea. So, that is how we have proven the very first identity. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Now, let us take the next example. Let us begin with the left hand side once again. So, in left hand side, we have sin x over 1 minus cos x. We will again rationalize it. So, we will multiply by 1 plus cos x times 1 plus cos x in the denominator. So, that is the first step where we are rationalizing. Now, after rationalization, we could write this as sin x times 1 plus cos x divided by 1 minus cos x times 1 plus cos x. Since we need the two terms as 1 plus cos x, we already have 1 plus cos x. You see that part? So, let us maintain it. So, this time, do you see, I am not distributing sin x over the 2. So, we will keep that as such. So, you have to have a focus on what you need to derive at and accordingly work. Denominator is 1 minus cos square x, which we saw last time can also be written as sin square x. So, we have sin x times 1 plus cos x and the denominator is now sin square x using the Pythagorean identity. Now, that sin square x cancels the sin x in the numerator and so, you get the right hand side. You see that. 1 plus cos x over sin x, which is the right hand side. So, that is how you could show it. So, you have seen two very similar questions, slight difference in our approach. Now, let us summarize that we actually use the formula cos square x plus sin square x equals to 1. Now, this can be arranged as sin square x equals to 1 minus cos square x. And the other one, which we tried was a minus b times a plus b is equal to a square minus b square. So, these are the formula which we have used in first two questions. Let us look into question number 3 now. It is very similar. So, I think I can leave this for you. So, let us go on this. Starting with the left hand side once again, I have written this as sin x over 1 plus sin x. I am going to rationalize it. So, I will multiply by 1 minus sin x, correct? And then, what do I get? I get sin x times 
1 minus sin x in the numerator, which I will expand later. But in the denominator, I have 1 minus sin square x, which can be written as cos square x, correct? So, do you get the flow, right? So, that is how we slowly get the flow of doing things, right? Sin x minus sin square x. You get the idea. Now, we could write this as sin x over cos square x minus sin square x over cos square x. Keep looking at what you want. We have one term now. Do you see that? The other term we need to modify a bit to get to the result since it's split into two terms. So, let us split this also into two terms. We have sin x times. So, cos x could be distributed cos x times 1 over cos x. Does make sense to you, right? Minus tan square x. Do you see that part? Now, sin over cos is tan x. That is what we wanted, right? And 1 over cos x is secant x minus tan square x. And that is exactly what we wanted. So, we got our right hand side. Do you see how keeping a focus on what you need to prove at helps to derive at the result? Perfect. So, that's a good take from it. In case you really want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given. Now, let's look into Example 4. We have a similar result on the right hand side which we have seen earlier. Let us begin with the left hand side and see how do we derive at that. So, we have tan x over 1 plus secant x. Now, one of the things you could do is write them all in terms of sine and cosine and then follow the steps which you did in earlier questions. However, I will rationalize this using secant square x itself. So, we will multiply and divide by 1 minus secant x, correct? As soon as you do that, you get difference of squares in the denominator, which is 1 minus secant square x and the numerator tan x can be distributed. So, we have here tan x, let me first put them in the bracket, we will distribute later. Now, what is 1 minus secant square x? Well, we know 1 plus tan square x is equal to secant square x and that gives you the result. If I bring it on the left side, then 1 minus secant square x is equal to minus of tan square x, correct? So, we will replace the denominator by minus tan square x. The numerator, I will distribute and write this as tan x minus tan x secant x, correct? Now, writing this as tan x over tan square x with a negative sign minus. Minus and minus becomes positive when you divide by minus tan x. We want cosecant x, so not these terms. So, we will write them in sine and cosine later. For now, we will just keep this as tan x times secant x over tan square x. Now, we can write down tan x, one of them cancels and therefore, we have minus 1 over tan x, which indeed is cotangent x plus. One of the tans cancel and we have secant x over tan x. So, 1 over tan x is cotangent x. So, we got one part of it. Now, the next part is cosecant x, which we will write these in the terms of sine and cosine. Secant is 1 over cos x and tan x is sine x over cos x. And you can clearly see we can cancel these cos x to derive at our result, which is which is, let me squeeze in here, minus cortex and we have plus cosecant x, which is right hand side. Is that clear to you? So, that is how we can actually do this. Technique use again is rationalization. 
is a clear to you. Now, here we have some interesting cases. In this case, we have square root. So, let us do square root of this. Okay. So, left hand side is given to us as square root of 1 minus sin x over 1 plus sin x. To rationalize, what should I multiply with? Well, let us rationalize the denominator. So, I could multiply by 1 minus sin x within the square root. So, 1 plus and 1 minus sin x will give you what? Well, the numerator is square root 1 minus sin x whole square, which is 1 minus sin x. This value is going to be always positive, right? And in the denominator, we have 1 minus sin x times 1 minus sin x, which is 1 minus sin square x. And that is cos square x, right? So, we could write this as 1 minus sin x over cos square x. So, so we can now simplify this particular expression within, within square root, right? Denominator is within square root. Okay. Right, and so we can write this as one minus sine x over cos x, which is one over cos x minus sine x over cos x, and that is secant x minus tangent x. Doesn't make sense to you. That is how we could actually do this. Here is the last question which I am leaving for you to practice. So, let this be the practice question for you. I hope with this, you understand these strategies. If you want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given. And if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.